All right, y'all, today we're going to set up these amps. Now, at its core, card, it was all about voltage. Your head unit sends out a certain amount of voltage. Your amplifier takes it, amps it up, and then your speakers experience that voltage. So, watts, ohms, all that, those are just functions of voltage. And what we're doing here is we're trying to make sure all the voltage involved is clean and it's getting sent to the right speaker. And you can do all that with a DMM. Let's get into it. So step one is to figure out what's your cleanest voltage on your head unit. So if you bought a head unit, or like an aftermarket one, all you got to do is go into the manufacturer specs, look up the top, uh, the maximum preamp voltage output, and then you play a zero decibel test tone. While playing that zero decibel test tone, you check the RCA leads. The way to do that is you just plug into one of the RCA leads. So you set up with your positive touching the inner wall and your negative touching the outer wall. And as you turn up the radio, uh, you check and see what number on the radio do you hit that rated voltage they said. So if they said four volts, you turn it up and you find that 25 is set to four volts, then there it is. You leave it at that and uh, that's the highest you can go uh, on your unit. And that's when you're gonna set all your gains at. Now, if you have like a stock radio, instead what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, have to use a low output converter. So this takes the amped up voltage that comes out of a stock radio, drops it back down and gives it a signal that our amps can use to ramp it back up. So with this, you just need to set the voltage setting the uh, test tone the same way you would with an aftermarket one. So every LOC should have like an adjuster. Like this is for my front channels, this is for my rear, this is for my sub channel. And you can raise it and lower it, you know, to get change your output value. So which output value should you go for? Well, some amps can handle two volts of input, some can handle four, some can handle six. One thing we can guarantee, they all can handle 1.5. So for me, the magic number is 1.5 volts. So I always measure using the 40 hertz test tone because that is the strongest signal you're going to send out. And that's the one you want to make sure it isn't clipping. But what head unit volume should we set this to? So one way to predict where your clean voltage should be would be turn the radio all the way up and write down that number. So here we go. In my case, it's 38. We're then going to take that number and multiply it by 0.75. And what I should get is like 28.5. Then I'm going to round it down to 28. This means all the work I do moving forward, I do it with the head unit set to 28. And this also means once all these amps are set up, I never turn the volume past 28. Okay, to set my gain, I will turn my radio up to 28 on the head unit. While that 40 hertz test tone is playing at zero decibels, I will then measure the output voltage and try to turn this up till I hit 1.5. And as we can see, we got about 1.5 volts at 40 hertz. So I'm gonna do that for all the outputs front, rear, and sub. So I made sure to mark what voltage I got on each output. As you see, they're all about 1.5. Now I need to double check 1000 kilohertz at zero decibels. The goal here is to make sure that 1.5 is the highest number I see in either one of these two. So right now I'm checking the front channel, running the one kilohertz test tone, I get 0.5 volts. Now it's time to check the rear. What do I get? 1.025 volts. Now I don't like this, because this means on the high amp, this one is putting out, my rears will be putting out twice as much voltage as my front. So what I do is I game match it back down. I'm going to turn uh, the rears down till they reach 0.54. This is also obvious because if you look at the markings, see where they are and see how high this last one is. That shows me that I have base roll off, which is a concept I'll cover uh, later. I'm just going to turn it down till I get 0.54. There we go, pretty close. And if you look at the markings, they pretty much all line up. That's how I know that this is set up even and a clean signal all the way through. Now it's time to move on to anything that was next. So if I had a crossover in line, I would try to get the crossover to match these same numbers at these same frequencies. So now cut off your car, cut off everything and then start connecting the RCAs. You never want to connect this stuff while the power is applied. So now we got the RCAs connected, we need to set our amps up. But first thing first, we need to open up all the filters. Now crossover filters, like high pass, low pass, all they're saying is high pass means only higher than this frequency can pass over. Low pass means only lower than this frequency can pass over. So what you wanna do is, if you have a four channel amp, they usually have a flat setting that disables all of it. But if you didn't, general rule of thumb is you would turn the low pass filter all the way to the right and the high pass all the way to the left. By the way, if your amp, like your bass amp has a subsonic filter, that's just another name for a high pass filter because only things higher than that can pass. Also, there's a setting on here called bass boost. On here, they call it level, but it's a bass boost. Always keep that at zero, never turn that up. What you want to figure out is what is your amplifier rated for at the certain ohm load, aka 
what wiring configuration your speakers are set for. So like for my front speakers, they are rated to do about 85 watts at four ohms. Well, I then need to put this into this equation to figure out what voltage that would relate to. So the equation is you take your watts, multiply by your ohms, and then take the square root of that number. So if I did 85 by four, that's about 340 to take the square root of that number, so 85 by four and the square root of that will give me 18.43 volts, which means that's the level of voltage I'm expecting to read out of here. There we go, I've done my quick math to know what voltage I should be expecting. So how do I read that voltage? You just plug in your multimeter where you would normally plug in your speakers. So like for the front channel, I will put my positive lead here and my negative lead here. Then I will play a 40 Hertz test tone. All right, so make sure your car is on when you do this. Double check, make sure you're at that number you found earlier. In my case, 28. Now we got our test tone playing, and we're gonna start amping up the uh, gain until we get that number that we wrote down. In my case, it's 41.83 volts. So I've hit the number I want, but if you have an app that has a clip light, you can actually go past it. So what you would do is, you would just turn this gain up into this yellow light flash, then back it off just a wee bit. If you look at this amp, you see this crossovers. You're gonna see a maximum and a minimum on both the high and the low. But it's like, how do we know where we're at on that scale? So you just use some basic math and the multimeter, you can figure this out too. Now that we got all the crossover set, we're gonna turn the radio down a little bit, like maybe half or two thirds of what it matches out at, and then we're gonna start setting the crossovers. So the general rule is you want to set your crossovers around 80 hertz. You want your highs to play down to 80 hertz and your sub to take over. So remember, high pass means only highs can pass. That means that goes to the front and rear. Low pass means only lows can pass. That means that goes to the sub. How do you measure this? It's really simple. What you do is you download an app, app that can generate a test tone. Uh, I'll drop one in the link in the description. You're gonna play an 80 hertz test tone out each output and then read the voltage that you get and write it down. You're then gonna multiply that number by 0 0.707 and that's gonna get the new voltage you're looking for. Then you're gonna turn up the high pass or low pass until you reach that number. So case of point, I got it plugged up to the uh, sub amp. I'm getting 6.2 volts. 6.2 times 0.707 is equal to 4.38. So now I'm gonna to try to turn the low pass filter until I see that voltage number. So calculator was 4.38. I got 4.39, three sets, close enough. One more setting to set. If you got a ported box, means you got a vent, sometimes a circle, whatever. And you need to set what's known as a subsonic filter so the box doesn't play below that. And with that, you're done. Everything's set up. Remember to turn the car off, turn the amps off, and then start plugging your speakers in. So I got all the speakers wired up. Got them all cleaned up uh, to the best ability that I'm willing to do. And yeah, we can crank this system. And I should never see a click light, nothing like that. It should be the cleanest system that I can have.